Hi guys, I'm Antonia from Timpanies.com and welcome to the second in my three part series on the trends for autumn winter 2017. Now the reason I'm covering this is because I'm hoping that you might be able to make some wise decisions in your spring summer purchases that are going to see you through perhaps two seasons. Previously I discussed the kind of the overall hybrid trend and also overall colours that we're going to be seeing in autumn winter 2017. Today I want to discuss clothing so join me and let me know your thoughts. So out of all of the kind of clothing categories, dresses were the strongest. They were up 6% on last year. And of the dresses, the midi silhouette was still really, really strong. It's a beautiful, elegant length. And actually quite a lot of the dresses were quite soft and flowing. If you have a little look at say Louis Vuitton, something like that, it's kind of that beautiful, soft, elegant silhouette. There's also this kind of continued loungewear influence on wrap dresses. So it's just, again, elegant and flowing. And also that ladylike silhouette, which does look beautiful on a midi length dress. In terms of the trousers, we can see a greater variety coming into autumn winter 17. Still got that nod to the flare, whether or not that's going to take off this time round, nobody knows. You've got the crop and straight leg which is overtaking the culotte and also the caftan style trouser which is a really nice update on the evening trouser with a kind of side split it makes your evening trouser a little bit more interesting in terms of our knitwear, we're looking again at the kind of minimal versus maximal style dressing, that real hybrid. So um, ruffles are strong, you've got feature arms offset against a quite classic style body shape and you've also got matching snoots. It's just an interesting take on knitwear. Shirts were really, really strong for autumn winter 17. And I'm sure that you can see quite a few shirts coming in already in the stores with the beautiful embroidery on them. That again was a really strong trend carrying through into the autumn winter. Another real strong trend in jackets was the blazer and it's that single breasted look which I think you'll probably find the most wearable. Um, Bruno Coccinelli was really really popular with this trend and it's a kind of nod towards a more formal tailored look. Again this more tailored look is also being seen in the coats and as we do talk about coats let's talk about the fur coat. The fur coat for um, a long time has been really really popular. As, as we move towards autumn winter 17 this is actually for the first time started to decrease and we're actually seeing a decrease in the kind of longer style fur. Short fur and bright colours were still really popular but you also kind of want to be looking more towards the duster and kind of real tailored classic looking coat. The duster was still really really strong going into the autumn winter again a kind of hybrid between the spring summer autumn winter trans seasonal trends. Fabrics that were really popular, velvet as per usual during the winter, really strong. You've also got quite a lot of brocade. You've also got poppers which are moving from a kind of more practical usage to actually an embellishment on items. Uh, other things to look out for, for example, big motifs, so animal motifs perhaps such as lobsters or um, sequined embellishments on items. Just things that are injecting a little bit of fun into to the season. Ruffles are one of the major trends that WGSM picked out. They saw a 208% increase year on year. So ruffles can be seen across the shirts and across knitwear. They were just really, really strong. And actually that again is another really easy trans seasonal piece that you can work from your spring summer wardrobe into your autumn winter. So guys, I hope that gives you a brief overview of the sort of clothes that we can see perhaps coming into stores later in the year and maybe will help you as you're making your purchasing choices in the spring, summer. Hope you'll have a great week and watch out next week for the final in the three-part series on trends.
Thanks, guys. Is here, I know my universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came.